Conservative media peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal. Well, we have breaking science news. Researchers at UCLA may have gotten, uh, done a breakthrough in the study, or rather, a breakthrough in potentially curing baldness. Now, baldness affects tons and tons of people all around the globe, as you can see. <laughs> it's, 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 it's hit JDV a little bit. Uh, we're still fighting the battle here. But the point is, that, you know, what they did here, and this is very, very important, they were studying mice and they were trying, and mice, a lot of times they will research mice because mice actually are genetically, you know, uh, there's a, if things work in mice, they work in, in, in humans a lot of times. There's a lot of genetic similarities in terms of the effects of medicines and all that type of stuff. So, the, the point is that um, they were looking to block some of the stress in a lot of these mice are really stressed out and a lot of people are stressed out so they were working on an anti-stress um, therapy and in doing that like uh, they you know it didn't work quite at first they kept doing it for a few days whatever like that then they went to go get the, and these mice were like stressed out they had lost their hair and stuff like that on their backs and their in their head and they went to go get these mice and they had regrown massive amounts of hair they're like whoa so they were checking this out and it looks very interesting, it looks very powerful. Now, will this work in humans? We don't know. Will this work in, in, in uh, people, is it only for people that, or, or mice that have lost, mice and or people that have lost hair due to stress? Will it work on like, you know, the male pattern baldness, whatever like that, or other forms of baldness? Nobody knows. But this is a major breakthrough, obviously a big step in the right direction. And there's a lot of people that have, you know, they will try all kinds of other uh, you know, uh, th drug therapy, shampoo, surgery, this and that, whatever. Obviously, it's a big deal. A lot of people would have, you know, they, they feel like it affects their self esteem. You know, it's a, it's, so it's, it's all that type of stuff. What do you think about that? Do you think that we'll have a cure for baldness? I, I, you know, there's speculation that with this kind of discovery, it, it, you know, maybe it's five years off, maybe it's 10 years off, maybe it's, who knows? I don't know. What do you think about this? Are you excited about it? If this comes to market, would you try it? Uh, we don't know about the safety indications. We don't know anything like this. But I would think if something lowers your stress, maybe it's maybe it's uh, has other good positive effects. I'm excited about this. I think it's interesting. I do believe with the incredible science breakthroughs and technologies that we're now on the verge of, with all the genetic mapping and everything like that, the sky is going to be the limit, and they're going to be able to solve and cure so many different things going on. That's why I'm all for research and that type of stuff. That's my personal opinion. All this is my personal opinion. I'll let you in facts, casting, any aspersions. Check the disclaimers. Both sides, you know that. Now. I want to know what you think about this. Are you down with it? Are you excited about it? Will you check it out? Tell me about it. We've got that stories linked in descriptions. Comments below, subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal. And rate this video high and repost it, please. And you're watching Conservative New Media.